hello hello it is a tuesday night and today we are starting a reading vlog for the long walk by stephen king i know that i look a little bit different um i think this video is going to go up before my monthly vlogs so this will be the first you're seeing of my new haircut i just got my hair done yesterday and you'll see the full like clips of that kind of stuff in my monthly vlogs but uh yeah i just decided to get bangs and i got some highlights and i got it cut a bit shorter and i love it <laughs> but anyways today we are starting a reading vlog for the long walk because this is the next stephen king book on my list of stephen king books that i'm hoping to get to this year i have kind of started a new like series i guess you could say on this channel of reading a lot of stephen king's backlist titles that i haven't gotten around to ever so i will link all the previous stephen king reading vlogs that i have done so far but i think for this one i'm going to be doing a spoilery reading vlog for this so i think i'm going to be including spoilers as i go throughout this reading vlog and the main reason that i'm doing that is because i feel like stephen king books are so popular and so like i feel like a lot of people People have actually read them and so I feel more comfortable doing spoilery reading vlogs for his books because I feel like there's more likely of a chance that most of the audience has already read this um, but let me know what your thoughts are on spoilery reading vlogs and if that's something you want to see me do more of in the future or less of like do you prefer reading vlogs that don't include spoilers or do you like reading vlogs that do include spoilers better because I'm trying to figure that out and like the last reading vlog that I just did for Little Women that was the very first reading vlog I did where I included spoilers during the vlog and it made it like really fun for me so I think I'm going to do this with this book right now and this will be the first Stephen King reading vlog that I do, including spoilers. So again, just let me know what your thoughts are on that and if you'd like me to do that more often in the future or if you don't like that and you don't want me to include spoilers in reading vlogs, let me know. This will be a test run and I am really excited to read this one because a lot of people have ranked this as like their number one favorite Stephen King book, like so, so many people. And so I really have no idea what to expect going into this. I know it has kind of like a young adult dystopian vibe, which is kind Kind of the reason why I'm like a little nervous about it because I don't typically like young adult dystopians so I literally don't even know what's about what I'm about to read like I have no idea I just decided to crack open my rosé angry orchard cider it's not gonna focus on that yeah buddy because it's been kind of a long day and I've been craving cider like all day oh yeah that's good I'm gonna start this book mm -hmm. and I'm gonna drink my cider and it's just gonna be a lit Tuesday night. character is already talking about how he's aroused but gross <laughs> i don't want to hear about how this like 15 year old boy's aroused Ew. very strange and all that's happening is that they're walking and it's just like the long walk like is the whole book just gonna be like this i don't know we'll see dude what the fuck is wrong with our main character garrity like this guy curly just like died like they just like shot him in the head and it was very graphic and disturbing and then like literally on the next paragraph he's like he found that he could look right up her dress to her underpants her blue underpants in inexplicably he found himself aroused again like can you stop talking about how you're freaking aroused all the time and like you just watch this guy die and you're freaking aroused this main character is annoying as fuck so far, and I'm only on page 28. Now we're on to part two. Hello, it is the next day. It's actually like four o'clock in the afternoon right now, but it's super bright in my room for some reason. And last night, I actually did get 120 pages into the long walk. And um, so far, I have like mixed feelings about this so far, because while I do think 
I'm able to read this very quickly. Like, I will say that. That's one of the positives. And this book is only 300 pages long, so I'm, like, almost about at the halfway point already. What do I like about this? I like that it's fast and quick to read, like I just said. I like that I guess I'm curious enough about the plot that I want to continue reading just to see what happens, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> This book, it feels like it's written for a teenage boy audience, like I will say that. I don't like the way the women are written in this book. I think they're ridiculous and it's kind of annoying and I don't want to read about teenage boys arousals ever. I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of like missing the point on what is the point of the long walk. Like I know it's like whoever wins this long walk wins like money I guess and like fame but like there's literally 100 boys doing this long walk and there will only be one person who wins and all of the rest of them are gonna die and like that's crazy like and if you had no idea what this book is even about it's like all these teenage boys that are walking like endlessly and they can't stop or else they get shot in the face and so we're following one of the boys, Garrity, and they've just been walking. And like at this point where I'm at, I think they've walked like 80 miles or something. And it's been at least like 12 to 15 hours. I don't really remember. But like, what? It's just crazy. Like, why would anybody want to do this? Like, you have a 1 in 100 chance. Like, that's literally a 1% chance of actually winning. Like, what kind of odds? Like, why? Why? would you ever do something like this? And another thing that I don't super love about this, I know it's such a nitpicky thing though, is that the chapters are so long. I'm 120 pages in and I'm only on chapter seven. So each chapter is like nearly 20 pages or longer. And it's like, ugh. It's like, I'm definitely the kind of reader that like needs to stop reading in between the chapters. And it's just like, the chapters are just really long and it's obnoxious. And I feel like for a story like this, it would work better with like shorter chapters. I don't know, does anybody really care about that kind of thing? Except for me. But yeah, so far this is okay. It's not like anything else that I've read by Stephen King though. So I will say that like, if I was reading this, I don't even know if I would think that this is by Stephen King if I didn't know it's by Stephen King, you know, because it's very different. But it does kind of have his same kind of gruesome writing style, like some of the things that happen in this book, I'm like, ooh, I don't know. But um, yeah, I haven't read anything today because I actually just got back from seeing Little Women in theaters with my mom and we both had a big cry fest over it. So I don't know if I'm really in the right headspace right now to like jump back into reading this book. Hello, it's uh the next day. I didn't end up reading anything yesterday. I just wasn't really a... Uh, in a reading mood yesterday and I just wasn't in the headspace to like read about teenage boys and murder after I just watched Little Women and bawled my eyes out so today I'm ready to jump back in and I had a really great start to my morning this morning I just like went to this local sandwich deli place and I got one of their breakfast sandwiches for the first time and it was so good and I watched some of Kayla's contemporary thon vlog because I'm like really like I, I just love watching her vlogs and I'm drinking Sunny D because I am a child oh my god dude Sunny D is like the fucking best I had to make an emergency run to Winco this morning because we were out of trash bags which I didn't even realize until I was gonna take out the trash and then I went to go replace it and I was like Oh my god, we don't have any trash bags, so it's just one of those adulting things, you know, like running out of the essentials and you gotta go to the grocery store, so I am ready to jump back into the long walk. And it's about one o'clock right now. I don't go into work until four tonight, so I have about three-ish hours to read. And I'm on page 120, and this book is about like 305 or so pages long, so... We'll see if I could finish now. I may be able to finish it now, but if not, I'm definitely planning on finishing it tonight. <laughs> page 128 did our main character just have a fucking orgasm while he's walking and like people are dying 
around him and he's just like thinking about his girlfriend and like having sex with her and he literally has an orgasm like are you kidding me why are men so gross that's all i have to say about that i'm around page 150 and they have been walking for 24 hours now and they just reached the 100 mile mark and i'm about halfway through so whoa okay um i've read a little bit more and i have some thoughts still because one of the boys just said that he's married and he's like expecting a baby and it's like literally why the hell would you do this why you have a one percent chance of surviving and you're just gonna like leave your wife like husbandless and the child fatherless like it just doesn't make any sense and also why aren't there any girls in the long walk like is this an exclusive like boys thing or are girls just too smart and they just don't want to do something that's this stupid like literally if you have a one percent chance of surviving then like you've got to be kind of suicidal right because that's insane and like they did kind of mention like some of the boys said like they they are suicidal and this is like a quick way to die or something it's kind of reminding me of like the maze runner a little bit with like all the boys and like the way that they talk to each other like yeah dude mm. i don't know i just get so tired of reading like teenage boys talking to other teenage boys about like teenage boy things <laughs> i feel like i'm just not the audience for this book but i'm just continuing to read because i am curious to see where it goes so i'm just kind of like Trying to get through it. I made it to page 200. Woo! Ugh. Olsen just had the most graphic death. That was disgusting. But just made it to part three. Almost done. I finished it. It just hit three o'clock in the afternoon and I finished it. And am I dumb or does that ending not make any fucking sense <laughs> i reread this last page like three times and i'm like trying to figure out what the heck just happened because it was down to him and stebbins at the end right and then stebbins like died and now he's saying he like sees a dark figure still that he like needs to beat i guess and at the very end he's like when the hand touched his shoulder again he somehow found the strength to run like, what is he, like, hallucinating? Because he's so delirious from walking for so long? Like, I don't really know. But, uh, this was okay. Um, not my favorite. I'm probably gonna give this somewhere between two to three stars. Like, I really just need to think about it more. But, I don't know. I feel like I went into this one with really high expectations just because so many people have said that this is their favorite Stephen King book. And, like, I honestly just don't understand why. I found this book to be very, like, repetitive because it's literally, like, the entire 300 pages is just non-stop of the boys walking and the boys talking about how, like, exhausted they are and, like, how many miles they've walked and, like, I don't know. It just, like, it never really went anywhere, I guess. And the ending was pretty underwhelming, at least, like, for what I had expected or, like, where I thought it could have gone. I feel like the ending was pretty underwhelming. I feel like this is probably, like, a two-star for me, which is sad. Ah. Oh! I really thought I would like this one, but like, oh my god. God, last month was Dr. Sleep and that was a two star and now this month it's The Long Walk. I also feel like if I wasn't like reading this book for this video, I probably would have DNF'd this book like almost right off the bat. Like I just didn't really care that much, you know? I'm sad. This one just wasn't for me, unfortunately. And um, I feel like this is just again another like failed Stephen King reading vlog. I swear I only wanted to do these like Stephen King reading vlogs after reading Pet Cemetery and loving it so much because Pet Cemetery was the first Stephen King book that I ever gave five stars to and it's still the only Stephen King book I've ever given five stars to. But um, I guess let me know what your thoughts are on this book if you've read this book and if this is one that you really enjoyed, like if this is one of your favorite Stephen Kings, then I guess just let me know why because I mean, I guess it makes sense that I didn't really enjoy this because I'm not really a fan of young adult dystopians and I'm just not really a fan of stories like this, I guess, that just follow a bunch of teenage boys and like, it just doesn't, I guess the long walk, like the idea of it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, like why anybody would want to do this. So maybe that's why I just like couldn't get into it and I couldn't get invested in it because I just didn't care. Like this book had some decent moments for sure and some things that I found interesting and I do think that the concept of it is somewhat interesting, but I just like could never really get into it very much. So 
I'm really sad about it, <laughs> but at least I finished it. It's another Stephen King that I've read, which I'm happy about. Sorry that this reading vlog ended up being pretty underwhelming since I didn't enjoy it very much, but <laughs> let me know your thoughts if you've read it, and um, let me know your thoughts on spoilery vlogs for the future, and if that's something you'd want to see more of or less of with reading vlogs. And thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you soon with a new video.